Eagles, but I guess it I played the South Park game as part of uh when I on just my regular YouTube channel and like it physically made me ill at, po Ill at points, man. It was it was so bad. Like it's bad bad, but yeah. <laughs> Also, whenever I logged in today to Twitch, I see that a uh, another subscriber has subscribed. So thank you to whoever that is. Uh, you must have subscribed while I was off stream, so I didn't get a notification of who you are. But I appreciate you, each and every one. So thank you for that. Oh, the old South Park, like on the PlayStation 1 and 64, Nate. Yeah, the new ones are pretty decent. Like, I, I haven't played uh, The Fracture But Whole, but I played the other one, the one that came out before that, and it is very nice. I, I really like the one before it, and I imagine I'll end up really liking Fractured But Whole as well. But yeah, sadly, I, uh, I haven't played it yet. I will eventually. I own it, so, like, there's nothing really stopping me from playing it, just my own, you know, inability to find the time to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. I'm sure the music will be good in this game, but uh, I don't know how they feel about their music being played in videos, so. I'm just a loser. Well, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> I'm a busy person. Cutaway games, what is? Oh, so like instead of the cutaways in the show which of course they have all the time they have little cutaway games that's a fun idea that's cool and then you can just play them as like little mini games at any point that's nice what were the game options actually before we go oh, just auto save i think i went into that already all right we're just gonna go it into it for anybody just joining whether it's on stream or on youtube this is part of my ps2 gauntlet i'm trying to collect and stream every north american ps2 game and it has been a lot of fun doing so playing a lot of stuff that i probably never would have played otherwise and I'm happy to have you all along for the ride. Peter Hello, looks weird. Huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian. And nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really cared for that show. But I... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. I apologize. The controller started to fall off my lap when I was leaning over to get my drink. <laughs> God. Stop touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get on with it. Okay. Look, there we go. <laughs> We're having a good start here. All right, so uh, something happened in the beginning. Is there any way for us to like, no, that's moves. I thought it said movies. Well, guess we don't need to see that intro there. That's fine. <laughs> Press X to jump, doing a mid air to do a double jump. So normal platforming stuff. We can also do a little bit of a hover there. That's interesting. Makes sense for Stewie, I guess. At least in the original episodes of the series, right? In the later episodes, it seems like My he got more and more tame. Got me this beautiful watch. Your boyfriend, Prince so William, huh? I, I must find enough power-ups to charge my <laughs> ray gun and then Bertram. As First Lady of the American stage, Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> So, I mean, like, it looks pretty good at least, right? It looks like the TV show. Everything's maybe a little chunkier than what I would expect, but it looks decent enough. Can we talk to people or anything? No, doesn't seem like it. Can we can we mess with the monkey? Nope. Can't mess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. It popped up with something. Or was that for here? That was for here. Okay. So, we can interact with objects with triangle. That makes sense. Can we go in this door, maybe? No, we cannot. Okay, we've gotten 17 out of 20. Obviously, we're missing something. Why is there a bunch of skulls in the bed? I'm sure that's something from an episode at some point that I've missed, but a little odd. I must find enough power-ups to charge my ray gun. And then, Bertram, as First Lady of the American stage, Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you. My ray gun I'm... just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step in Brian's butt chocolate. I'm so glad that we're already repeating lines. <laughs> so our objective is to get through the kitchen door. Can't we just open it? I mean, I understand that we're just, you know, a baby, but it's Stewie we're talking about. I feel like he could figure out how to open a door. I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. 
Okay. Honey, I'm doing the dishes. Damn! It appears the microwave is disrupting my mind control. I shall need to use What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Why is there just <laughs> Why is there just a uh uh, uh, what was that? Was that an octopus in the in the kitchen there? It's a little odd. Peter found a skull, used it for everything, including as a sports cup, because the house got haunted. <laughs> oh lord. No, no, no! My mind control device is intended for humans, not canines. Not can. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so we can get Lois to maybe let out Brian. Maybe that's what's going on here. A bit of a puzzle element here. What's in the? Just, just a dead horse. That's fine. No big deal. What we got over here? Can't open that one. So I guess the things that we can open are all like sparkly. Well, my oh, are we gonna scare him? Lord. I don't like this. Terrible. <laughs> now she's just stuck. This is, she can't she can't path around the bathroom there, but <laughs> oh. We must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram, and then perhaps work on a sweet tan. Sorry, you meant the skull made the house get haunted due to him being disrespectful. I vaguely remember that at least. Oh wow, kind of cold, man. We're just. Murdering these kids, man. <laughs> like there's, there's no, there's no uh, messing around here. <laughs> it's just like I was expecting maybe for it to, like uh, to like teleport them away or something. Maybe nope. They are just donezo. That's kind of crazy, man. <laughs> Right, so we can't go straight to the roof, it looks like. So I guess we gotta go through this this section. Uh with all the, the fighting and whatnot here. Hey, they came at you first. I mean, yeah, I guess, but man. <laughs> it's more what I would expect in like a South Park game, you know? Family guy, while not necessarily family friendly, I always felt was a little more family friendly than than South Park. find it a little hard to aim where I want to aim. Like, I just want to hit that garbage can, please. It's kind of... Excellent. One of my sky hooks. Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks. Ah, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, yep. this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and How I get nice. more power-ups for my ray gun. <laughs> okay, what are we what are we doing? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Just shot a guy with a nail gun a bunch of times. Done. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> oh man. All right, so Skyhook. What can we what can we do with it? All right, so when we got close, we just automatically switched over to it. Uh, oh, and that took us up to a little platform here. So can we jump on the roof now? There we go. Perfect. Nice. Just murdering children left and right as you do, obviously. <laughs> Nate says, yeah, aiming is annoying. Game is overall great fun. Yeah, I mean, so far I'm happy with it, man. Obviously, we're just minutes into it, so anything could change here, but... But it seems pretty decent, yeah. So how do we actually change weapons? Because I see there's another skyhook there. Okay, so is it always just automatic then? Feels like it might just always be automatic, which that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You me. Not so fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. Hey, keep it down up there. 
If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fool! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish. Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stewart! The Meg hate has to continue, okay, of course. Some kind of squirrel or Meg. Stop interrupting my program. <laughs> <laughs> This looks like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out. Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. <laughs> Bored. So we're getting right into the thick of it, I see. That's nice. <laughs> no holding back here. Love it. I mean, I haven't watched a Family Guy episode in so long at this point. Office. They should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I better get to the fat man before he does. It's been. I'm probably like three or four seasons behind. Behind, to be honest with you, it has been a while, to say the least. So, okay, so I can't go through either one of those doors. It seems like. Can I? Oh. Baby with a ray gun. Ah. <laughs> how do we how do we uh <laughs> The lock on is not working too well. <laughs> I guess you can't be running away. You have to be <clears throat> excuse me, you have to be vaguely pointing in their direction to be able to lock on, I guess. With as many health drops as it gives you, though, it's not really that big of a deal. You haven't watched it in forever, Nate? Yeah, it's been a long time, man. Get through the security door. So that's these ones, right? Yeah. If I destroy that red junction box, these laser walls will disappear. So there's that. Wait, do our shots bounce off the wall? They do. We can't, like, hit ourselves, though, can we? I don't think so. Although we are getting shot pretty consistently by... Is it the nurse shooting us? Yeah. Just throwing needles at us, I guess. <laughs> hey, happy Thanksgiving, Doris, man. Thank you for being here, friend. Now, I'm pretty sure I said it earlier, but if I forgot somehow, happy Thanksgiving as well to everybody else in chat there. Appreciate everybody being here, and I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely did say that, because we all talked about what we did earlier. Dorseman, if you're still in chat, how's the uh there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt. How's the stuff going? Security to the nurse's shower, please. The uh the profile pick and whatnot. Ow. Okay, well, we're dead. <laughs> About time I told you happy Thanksgiving. Did I not tell you happy Thanksgiving already? I'm pretty sure I have. I mean, I'm not going to pretend it's impossible that I've forgotten, but I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, so does it just ricochet off these walls because they're all like stainless steel and whatnot? That makes sense. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong, Mr. Noodle, but I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit of a to pivot and rotate, move while pressing and holding R1. Ah! Okay, so that gives you a little bit finer control. That's neat. Okay. So... Security, there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Dope. Security, Just blowing up everything. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. We can't go through any of these doors, right? No, okay. Yeah, whatever you say, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> All right, and holding L1 forces us to kind of always stay facing whichever direction we're facing while we move around. So that actually makes it a lot, a lot better. I'm glad they included those options there, both of them. That's actually very nice. Although it's a little weird because L1 also does like the whole lock on thing too. So it's like a combo, lock-on, always-face-a-single-direction type of thing. 
R2 and L2 don't seem to do anything, at least at this time. Same doors, we had four Oh yeah, we were talking about that earlier. It's good, been Thanksgiving all day for you. And thankfully, I mean, we had two places we were supposed to go to, Dorseman, but ended up just going to one because uh, us being just exhausted, really. Look at him squirm! Oh! I wish we could mind control death, but I guess he's not, you know, human, so. <laughs> Boof. Yeah, yeah. Boof it is, sir. Boof it is. But that's alright, we still had some pretty decent food. We went to my mom's and... Ate some wonderful food for, I mean, essentially breakfast for us. And then, uh, came home, had a nice nap for a little bit, and then ate some leftovers. All in all, can't really complain. It was pretty decent. That wasn't very nice, mister. <laughs> Don't explode in electricity, please. These people have, like, superpowers or something here, man. Like, jeez. You had rice, which is weird, but you dig it? Who serves rice for Thanksgiving? I mean, I love rice. I would not be complaining myself, but that is such a weird Thanksgiving thing. Well, at I least, uh... At, at least around here, you know? You heard me say that it wasn't very nice, mister, and you thought I was yelling at you? No! <laughs> oh... Why would I ever yell at you, Mr. Noodle? What'd you do? Oh, no, we're gonna die. Ah, this dude's blowing up so fast! Alright, well. <laughs> okay, what if... Nope, don't go now. This dude's blowing up much faster than the other ones, I feel like. Alright, come on, you gotta, you gotta stop any second now. Thank you. Okay, we're dead. Yep, that's it. GG. <laughs> You doing something really nice for me right now? What are you doing? <laughs> now you got me curious. Oh man, look at him squirm. Besides, I don't know if you can top. How did I not get electrocuted right there? How can you top getting me a PS5 though? Like, <laughs> I think we, I think we've hit our peak here, Mr. Noodle. Ah, come on. Uh, hello. There it is. I don't like these weird superhero electrocuting guys. That's that's crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited to see what it is, Mr. Noodle. Don't get me wrong. I'm just I'm just saying that was awesome of you. Thank you very much. Guess you'll dump it out. What? No. Don't dump it out. Is it food or or something? Some candy of some sort. Mr. Noodle's been making some wonderful sweets lately. These pumpkin cheesecake balls that she made the other day were fantastic, man. I tried the batter from it at first, and I wasn't that into it. But then, like, once it cooled down and got covered in chocolate, white chocolate specifically, oh, man, it was on another level, to be honest. Now you have me curious what it is, Mr. Noodle. Endorseman says he's gonna get me a PS6, so I'm just saying you got some competition, love. All right. <laughs> it's crazy to me to think that the PS5 has actually been out for you know a year now, give or take. It's just insane, man. And I'm just now getting one. Guess I didn't really need that last health pack, but whatever. Now, I just want to blow everything up. I don't know if it does anything, but he can't compete with you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that PS6 though. And then you know, whenever it's convenient, I'm kind of in the mood for a payday bar. Rocking with PS2.0, hell yeah, dude. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> the PS2 is still my favorite console of all time. Don't get me wrong. Hey, Doris Lady, happy Thanksgiving. I heard you and John had a fun time. Also, Chris's head is stuck here. Are we going in his head? <laughs> With the microscope here? Where are we going now? Oh, is that tea? Thank you, love. 
Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Okay, we'll let that cool down for a minute. <laughs> shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Like now, this is what I'm talking about. What? On the big screen. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm looking good. Again, I feel like this is probably something I missed from the show, but I am concerned. Uh, I can't jump. Where are we going? Okay, I see where we need to go. Just get spun around. Oh, okay, there's a hook. Hook on the hook. Oh, okay, I guess maybe we'll get that stuff whenever we come back down, because, yeah. That's Chris's pimple. Of course it is. Man, I was saying earlier, it's been so long since I've watched the show. I've forgotten, like, all of these things, man. It's crazy. And, of course, this game's from, I don't remember the exact year, but the early 2000s. And my memory, as I'm sure you all know, is not amazing as is, so... <laughs> Big drop there. Uh, you and John. Dorse Lady and Endorsement, you both missed the, uh, the, the, the beginning of the game here. Stewie went on a rampage and just killed all of... What's his name? Bertram's child assistance. It was, <laughs> it was a bit rough. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, good. We got it. <laughs> this game pulls no punches. Oh, it was showing his pimple on the screen because the microscope was right up against the side of his face. Obviously. I didn't even put that together, man. It feels so obvious now, but, you know, I completely missed it. Okay, so we can't break those ones. Perhaps I should find a way to use the preggers. Uh. Hello. Nothing interesting has come out of there. How do we use? How do we use the mind control thing? Doesn't seem like we can. We can control the camera though. I just found that out, so that's fun. That's. That's a thing. Gain access to the monitoring station. How... how do? Find a way to use the pregnant women. Oh! <laughs> God. <laughs> Um, you were watching Donkey play this the other day, really? You know, I've never actually watched a Donkey video before. I should, but I never have. Oh, wait. How many? Oh, well, we got a new part. So that's cool. So do we just need to, just need to keep going, I guess? How? <laughs> I, I don't know, man, to be honest with you. I don't know how I've gone this long without ever seeing a, a single one of his videos, but I haven't. I know of him, of course. Enough is enough, you little brat. I just helped you, lady. I delivered all of these babies. Even this weird conjoined twin one up here. Yeah, one of these days I'll get around to watching some of it. And try this tea here that Mr. Noodle just prepared for me. Although it's very hot. Oh. Very good, Mr. Noodle. A little bit scalding, but <laughs> tonight. You say him. You tell me that I need to tonight. Ex that's some explosive complications, all right. Holy crap, man. That lady just shot a missile out of her vagina. <laughs> Not your fault, I'm impatient. Were you were you gonna let it cool down? I don't feel like you were just gonna let it sit there and wait for it to cool down. <laughs> so we got a damage upgrade. Okay, cool, cool. Feminism? I don't understand. <laughs> Are you saying shooting missiles out of your vagina is feminism? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I guess that's one way to, to 
you know, I don't know. <laughs> Girl power, I guess. Whatever, I don't... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> How do you like the new layout, Doors, man? I haven't set one up for the podcast specifically yet, like this, but... Yeah, I, I decided it was about time I put a tiny bit of work into it. I like having the chat on screen, that's nice. We got the little stream boss up top there. It's lit! Well, I'm glad you like it, Doors Lady. You as well, Dorseman. Yeah, I figured it was about time I put a little bit of work into it, you know, so. I tried it out. And, uh, yeah, I thought it looked pretty decent myself. No complaints here. But I'm gonna do one for the podcast as well. If you have any on, any ideas on how things need to be changed around, let me know. Got the stream boss up in the corner. That's one of my personal favorites. It, uh... Anytime there's like donations, subscribers, followers, anything like that, it does uh, damage, and then whoever kills it gets to be the new person up there until the next person kills it, etc. It's a pretty neat little, pretty neat little uh, thing that they got there going on. Like the texture of the X Men 2000 super suit. Yeah, I I don't remember why I originally picked that texture for the background. Of course, I've been using it forever now, but I, I just looked up. You know, free to use, or already free, um, carbon fiber textures, and then just recolored it to be purple, and I, I really liked it. I thought it looked nice. This lady does not stand a chance. We can charge. I should probably charge up every now and then. Oh, now they're blue. They weren't blue before. <clears throat> okay, so we have to find some way of shooting... That thing over there, and I'll tell you, I think the easiest way is probably just shooting a bunch of times until we find one that hits. Yep. See? Why be precise? Why be careful? Why actually figure out how to beat a puzzle when you can just keep shooting until you win? I mean, that's how I get through life most times, you know? Big health power up there. Not that we needed it. Hmm, it's in use. I should have to find the power switch. Oh no. Quagmire's being a creep. The equipment. I must use mind control. What is what is he doing? Is he sniffing a, a lady in the MRI machine? A roofy colada, very nice. Hello, you. Hey, nurse, can you examine this lump? Oh, God, I'd rather die. <laughs> she gonna, oh, she's God. literally going to kill herself. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, honestly, I can't say I blame her. <laughs> Dealing with Cla Quagmire or death. <laughs> hey, death sounds about right. Stay away from me. Oh, the way she giggled, I thought she was into it there for a second. <laughs> okay. What is what is this? <laughs> this tank has a nipple. <laughs> I I have no idea what that was. Okay, it seems we still need one more. Did we just put Quagmire in it? <laughs> yeah. <but> okay. <laughs> That'll work. Feminism. Is that your word of the day? <laughs> just. Feminism. Hey, I like it. I guess we can't use our gun in this section. Just kind of locked out of using it. Nice. Oh, see, it's fine. They're all just having a dance party. That's all. Nobody's dying today. They're just all dancing, having a good time, man. The laser beams just give them energy, you know? It's good stuff. <laughs> the moans and crap in the background kill me. Huh. Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Up, up, down, down, left. Oh. <laughs> okay, rule one for fugitives. Don't let anyone see. I think we might have skipped another cutscene. <laughs> Does 
pressing any button in this game just skip skip the cutscene. That's what it's seeming like. Join our team, Cash Cam. You contact prisoner two one one six A. Again. Shadows like martinis are your friends. I'm guessing that's another uh. Another reference there. It's cool to love Jesus, guys. We all love Jesus in this chat, right? Right? Wow, cool. If you don't love Jesus, you shouldn't be in this chat room right now. This place needs is a Papa -san chair. Watch the Brian. I did not read what that said at all. Oh, God, that smells worse than Meg's room. I drank a gallon of laxative. Why isn't it working? Brian is like Gex in this level. Man, that's another game we should play at some point. The Gex games. That's everybody's favorite series right there, right? Oh, here we go. This is my kind of scene right here. I like all the pink bubbles. Why can't I move? Stop I can move the here. camera. That's the second you have it on the N64? I've ever seen. Dude, let's do it. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. You prefer Earthworm Jim? Yeah, you're uh, you're an insane person, obviously. Do we just go back and forth as fast as possible, or? Yeah, okay. You two, do you actually, Dorseman? Then you're both insane, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. Move the right Anna's log stick to look ahead. To each other? Oh, run, run, run! Ah, I dog! See you. You've been caught. Okay. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian. I this don't see what's so disturbing about it. Interactive non sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. Quagmire and the Blair Fist Project. I didn't read that the first time around. Oh, it's Square and X or Triangle and X this time. I'm gonna screw that up. Okay, so now we just need to run. Run fast. God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. I wish I knew how long we had until the invisibility ran up. Okay, well, I guess that's about it there then. Uh, are we good? I think we're good. Ah, well, they probably can't see behind here, right? We just go away from it to turn around again. Perfect. Too easy. See, how could you ever screw that up? Oh. Man, honestly, this looks like a pretty decent prison, man. Or no, this isn't a prison. This is the hospital, right? Or no, he's in prison. Man, I am getting confused. It's jumping between locations too quickly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Alright. I mean, if I was going to go to a prison, I, I think I'd probably pick this one over the ones I've seen in other movies and things. This one here doesn't look all that bad. After this, let's go grab a snack. Oh. I got you. You're Oh, in. okay. Well, <laughs> I thought maybe there would be a secret or something in it. I didn't know a dude was going to pop out and just catch me. That's no fun. Okay, so if we get too close to either That's one of them, it seems snack. like. Okay, well. I got I... you. You're it. You piece of crap. So there's somebody in all of the closed bins, I'm guessing. So we got to stay away from all of them. Okay, turn around for me, please. Thank this, you. Let's go grab a snack. I mean, you won't see me all the way over here, right? Yeah. Too far away, I think. Okay, they turned around. I got you. Ah, dude, you suck. This is why Hitman was not a game for me. If anybody out there saw the, the Hitman live stream. <laughs> I am not patient. I, I am not a... Uh, a whatchamacallit, a, a stealth game player, man. I don't have the patience for it. Okay, so we know that dude's gonna run around like any second. So I think we need to wait for that them dudes to run around the corner. I was taking a drink. Alright, the next time they go around. Okay, as soon as he turns, let's go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught. In the shadow. Oh, thank God there's not a dude in this one. We'd be so screwed otherwise. 
This All right, we're good. We're good. We did it. See, no problem. Find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is. I need some clues. See, nice. now, like, I want to know why are we here? Jackpot. Oh, that dude's alive. What is that? That's some BS. I need some clues. There's no reason he should have been able to see us. I guess he does blink if you pay attention to him. Part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. Is is. Do we have to watch out for the bear? This harmonica along with that trucker. That guy couldn't if you lick a toad, you're licking every toad that toad has ever been with. That's important to remember, guys. Don't lick toads, all right? Unless you want to lick every toad that toad's ever been with. Okay, we can hide under the desk. Cool. Um... Red blinking light seems like a decent idea. Women's shower. That ought to keep them busy. Oh. Don't worry. I yeah. Hot. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there shouldn't be a button for that in a police station or, or jail or wherever we're at because I'm not really sure at this point. Hmm. The interrogation room. Don't move, dirt ah, guy. dude, I was just looking around. Calm down. Is that the mayor? You know, all things considered, though, this game does look pretty decent. It's not on the, the new South Park game level, but it's pretty decent, though. Wait, how else do you file things? You are everywhere and nowhere. What does that mean? How can mirrors be real if your eyes aren't real? Do I just have to follow this guy? Yeah, I can't seem to jump or anything as Brian, so. Oh, wait. Which cabinet is uh, that? Okay, there we go. Do something, man. Don't you have to, like, pop them balloons or write something in your notebook? Somebody stealing my water. They're crafty, I'll tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Okay. <laughs> ah! Dirt bag. Dude, where are we trying to go? <laughs> Collect all clue files. Oh, bruh. I'm an idiot. Bet if I hit okay. on this desk, they couldn't see me at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. So we gotta... Okay, so we gotta go around and then come back up the other side. Let's wait for this what dude to go game? down. Start what drawing. And that guy shouldn't be able to see us, but this one over here might. Can we make it? No, we can't make it. We're going to have to fall right behind him and then get under that desk. Why do you have cops patrolling inside the police station, though? Like, cabinet is that filed in what there? happened here? I feel like there's a story behind this, you know? Something obviously happened leading up to this situation. But they have, what is it, two, three officers? Another clue. Just to nice. patrol the police station. Whose rule should I play by? I'll just play by my own rule. There you go, man. That seems like a good idea. Play by your own rules. What's the worst that could happen? Hey, Dorseman, if you're still in chat, man, what are the what do you want to cover next for the podcast? I don't think we've talked about that in a little while. What would Danny Glover do? There were a couple games that we had talked about doing before, of course. So I didn't know if you wanted to do one of those other ones that we already had on the list, or if you had some other ideas, Somebody but... stealing my water. They're crafty, I'll tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Attention all officers. Ooh. Please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Okay, do we have to... Okay, he's drawing now, so we should be able to go behind him, right? Christmas Happy Wheels levels! Do we should actually do Happy Wheels? Like, I don't know about individual levels, but Happy Wheels sounds like a great idea. Toki Toki Tori, yeah, we still need to do that one. That was a viewer request one. Soon, Bertram, your uppers shall come. Find the parts to repair the liposuction machine. 
I remember the lipomatic. Kind of. Oh, this is gross. This is gross. Get them for me and I'll be able to open the door for you. I can't stand Sweet. on the but it makes for good sliding. Uh, okay, so you can't really control it. You can kind of control it. And you can't seem to jump out of it either, so... <laughs> once you're in it, you're stuck in it. Okay. So maybe we should try to collect all the parts first and then jump from place to place? This thing on? <laughs> Attention all nope, nope, come on. <laughs> Quagmire's the worst, man. The actual worst. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's one more part. We just... No! Bruh. This is worse than, like, any ice ever. Like, that... The... The, the ice in Pokemon, I would take that over this any day. Where you just go in a straight line. Like, at least that makes sense. Go in a straight line until you hit a wall or something, that's fine. But this 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 fat and, and from the liposuction uh, lipomatic? No. No. None of that. So are the parts in this room, or...? Be the Lindbergh baby right about now. Hmm... What are the bubbles? Are those going to hurt us in some way? Do we have to, like, avoid those? No, they just push us. Oh, man, and they push us a lot. That really screwed us up. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Could I just float in, maybe? Nope. Oh, no. I'm trying to get all of the, the parts for the, the ray gun or whatever, but this is impossible to control <laughs> then you add moving elements like that no come on come on just get it just get it there we go ah uh. so speaking of the the podcast though ex specifically christmas like you were saying christmas levels there if anybody has suggestion for christmas games for the podcast by all means please do let us know that's one where we really struggle to think of games to cover. Because, uh, I mean, there's just not that many Christmas things, you know? I, well, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more out there we just don't realize, but... Yeah, no. Die Hard Ness is not a Christmas game. <laughs> Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Period. Santa Claus, again. <laughs> Was Santa Claus... My memory, very bad. Was that the one that was extremely bad that I refunded because it was so bad? The one that they had the audacity to chat to charge like a dollar for? Yes, that one. No, I think maybe we should pass on that one. <laughs> oh my lord, just go up this ramp. Boo. <laughs> it's so bad though. It's so bad. You should try it. I Jonathan probably still owes it. Owns it. The Dorseman there. I'm sure he'll let you play it. <laughs> it's so bad. Now what we need to play is uh what was that meme game that we played with the the commercial? We can just do that one again, man. That one wasn't so bad. <laughs> it was free, so like I can't be mad at it. I am getting actually irritated right now with the way this controls. <laughs> and like, I, I hit that. I hit that. Just give it to me. And then this stupid ramp is impossible. Okay, look. Just get, just get in there. Just get in there. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Sprite Cranberry with LeBron James. That's it. That's what we need to play right there, man. We'll just play two hours of that on stream and then uh, talk about it in depth. That's what we're going to do for Christmas this year. I hope everybody's looking forward to it. <laughs> More of this? No. The one section of this was enough. Home Alone SNES, I'm not completely against. I'm not completely against that one. Oh, we can shoot? I didn't realize we could shoot while we were in the... The liposuction fat here. 
I mean, that's handy. Yeah, I'm actually not totally against that. Have you ever played it before, Dorseman? I'm guessing it's like a, a puzzle game setting up traps, essentially. But I, I, I'll be honest, I have no idea. Just, just die, please. Not Stewie. The bomb. Can we, can we not do this right now? There we go. The inner completionist in me says we cannot go without collecting all of the parts, but collecting all of the parts is proving impossible. I mean, how just getting through this level is proving impossible. Why does this control so badly? Everything else in the game has been fine. Like, I'm not huge into stealth sections, but as far as stealth sections go, it was fine. And now this? This is so bad. <laughs> yes, and no, it's a side-scrolling action game. What? How is it a side-scrolling action game? Like, as bad as it was, I can understand how Scooby-Doo would translate to a side-scrolling action game. But... Home Alone? Are you are you using your BB gun to, <laughs> to take down the enemies? I'm confused. It's not good. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the stuff we play ends up being not good, so... That's, that's fine. <laughs> Sometimes I think people just like to see us suffer through the games that we play. That's going to be our new tagline, is just we play the bad games so you don't have to. <laughs> also, we're going to totally die here. Is there a health pack over here or something maybe that we can unlock? No. Well, okay, maybe if we blow up some shit. Seems like a decent way to get health. Yes. More. More health, please. Nostalgia critic. I feel like that's a person already. If it's not, it should be. Okay. I'm really scared to fall back in this fat because I really don't want to have to redo that stuff. <laughs> like, we shouldn't die again at least, right? Because we blew up pretty much all of the, uh, all of the junk, the, the toxic waste or whatever the hell you want to call those. They looked like bombs, like what you would see in a ship. He watches the movies so you don't have to. Oh, I got you. For the, for the movie podcast we've been talking about, yes. That actually makes a lot of sense, man. That's a good idea. What was the other name? You you had come up with another name that was pretty good, too. I just don't remember it now. But there was another one that we were uh, considering oh using for it. I'm about to drown in here. Get that last part quick, or I'll be surrounded in more fat than the guests on one of them daytime talk shows. Get on Discord with you real quick. I'm in the middle of a stream. What do you want from me? Hold on. Oh, wait. Is this a time? I think this is an actual time section, too. Uh, That's everybody saying. Okay. There we go. Add me in. All right. All right. All right. Calm down. I got to unmute Discord. Um, Desktop audio, too. Okay. Give me a call. Give me a call. We'll get you added in. Oh. Okay, yeah, we ran out on. Hello. Hey. Hey, hold on one sec. Okay. One, okay, hold on. Uh, Voice and video. Oh, no, I got... I messed all this up the other day. Okay, I think we're good, actually. Go ahead. Say hello. Hello. Hi, stream. Hello. This is an official JOML meeting happening live. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. What's up, um, man? The Nostalgia Critic is a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, okay. It is already a channel. Yeah, that's his tagline. I watched that. Okay. Have to. Okay. That makes sense. Like I said, that totally sounds like something that should exist if it didn't. I was, that's a, that's a I was, perfect name. 
I felt so bad. I was like, oh, no, there's no way I can explain that. <laughs> In stream chat. I was, oh, no. But, um, no. Uh, oh, what was the other name that I thought of? Oh, no. I was going to say, you came up with one, and I, I remember liking yeah, it. I think it was yeah. pretty good. But I, I don't know what it was, though. Double feature. Double feature, that's right, because we talked about maybe doing two movies in one go or something like that. Yeah. And like, it'll be a double feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the Just One More Podcast double feature. Yes, there we go, guys. I mean, actual news now. Uh, I guess that's the name of the <laughs> of the podcast, most likely. We got to make sure yeah. it's not, like, taken or anything. We should we should probably uh, uh, trademark that real quick, you know? Just to... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, I could see double feature being taken, but there's right, no yeah, way. Right, yeah, just, just one more podcast double pod feature. Double feature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I doubt I doubt anybody's got that one mm -hmm. up their sleeve there. And if they do, well, we were just one more podcasts, actually, with an S. It's important <laughs> to put the S on there, okay? <laughs> just one more podcasts double feature. Well, <laughs> I, I always thought it was funny how, like, the band Fun, mm -hmm. they, it's not just Thanks fun. It's F-U-N, all now. lowercase, period. <laughs> yeah. Because they just said fun. that there was already a band named Fun. <laughs> that's uh one of my favorite stories along those lines is the band him uh whenever mm -hmm. they first came to america they had to change their name to her what? because there was already there was already i i can't remember if it was a band or what kind of group they were but there was already someone under the name him in america h-i-m all caps so they had to be they had to be called her for uh for like their their the initial release of their first album but then they got it worked out not too long afterwards and and got their name back, and that's why we all know them as him now. But yeah, I was about to say the Powerpuff villain. The Powerpuff the villain. <laughs> the Powerpuff girl villain is named Tim. Oh man. Hey Brad. Are we gonna do yeah. TV shows too? For the podcast? Yeah, yeah I figured we would, but you know. But what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that, Jonathan? Running into a baby with a ray gun in a morgue? Uh, just one more level rerun. That's what rerun. Rerun. Rerun does that sound like a good name, too. So that could be the TV. Right, right, right. Like if we do a TV episode, instead of calling it Double Feature, we just call it Rerun. But it's not like a common thing, you know? Like we don't have to do a whole series of Rerun. We can just do it if we decide to watch a TV show. Oh. Sorry, no, I'm not owing you. I'm owing... <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Scooby-Doo moment, man. Going in one door, popping out another... I'm very confused. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yes, no, I'm I'm up for it, man. Uh, do we want to do? Do we want it to be two completely separate podcasts, or just have it be one podcast? Um, like the the movie and TV show one. Right. I uh, I guess we would consider rerun to be like a special, you know, because how. How many times during the year are we going to be able to watch a substantial enough amount of television to do a whole podcast? True. True. But I mean, like, there are a lot of TV shows that I'm sure we've already watched, though, that we could cover. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if you've seen Game of Thrones yet, but there's Game oh, of Thrones, yeah. Friends, yeah. Family Guy. Like, there's all kinds of stuff, though, that we could probably True. make work. Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Why does that sound familiar? Is that a RPG game? 70s show, yeah, Mr. Noodle wants us to do 70s show, which, that's, yeah, that's yep, yep. Great. I haven't watched through that in a while, so that'd be pretty good. And the last time that I watched through it, I actually finished it. I had never finished it. I had never watched the season without Eric. Like, okay, watching, watching, I've seen at least most of the episodes without Eric. I'm not going to sit here and say I've seen every episode, mm -hmm. but uh, I've seen most at least. Yeah. I finally finished it this time, and it's it's worth finishing, obviously, if you're a fan. But right, the the, the earlier seasons are just better. I don't know how Megan feels about it, but I've always felt that the earlier seasons are just. Better. I mean, I feel like I feel like Mr. Noodle would agree. Punch him in the head. Yeah. Mr. Noodle, can you confirm? Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm not watching that movie again, so that's gonna be tough to do. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with Randy? That? Isn't as good, yeah. I don't like what? the movie. I hate the movie. What? I hate it. That's it's terrible. Doors Lady, I know you love it. 
but I, I can't stand it. I do not like that movie at all. I just don't like it. I do not like it, Sam. I am. <laughs> it is honestly the worst movie I've ever watched all of. Like, because, <laughs> you know, there's probably worse movies out there, but for those ones, I just haven't watched it, like, the whole thing, right? I, I saw a bit and was like, this is terrible, and then just stopped watching. But but Mr. Noodle made me watch the entirety of Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I did not care for it. That is, uh, that, that's crazy. I've never heard anybody say that they, they so blatantly, like, that that's the worst movie they've ever seen. Yeah, it's the worst movie I've ever seen, like, in entirety. I said, I'm sure there's worse movies, but but I, I've quit watching them. Like, uh, Sharknado, for instance, man, you know? Definitely a worse movie, in my opinion. But on that one, after five minutes, I was like, you know what? This is terrible. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> too. Like, that's, uh, that's a kind of genre that I enjoy. I like uh, watching Sharknado? Movies. No. Yeah. Well, it's so bad. Watching. It's so bad they're good, you know? <laughs> it's so bad, though. Like, it's so bad, I don't know. I can't find it enjoyable. I'm like that with video games, though. I play some really bad video games sometimes just for the hell of it. I mean, as I mentioned very early in the stream, I watched the entirety of... Or not watch, played the entirety of the South Park video game, which, in my opinion, is objectively bad. Like, it's just terrible. But I played it. <laughs> yeah. What's everyone yeah. saying here? John had already seen it, and that's why you married him? Aw, oh, that's sweet, guys. There's also a Saints Row 4 Christmas DLC. Borderlands 2 has some Christmas-themed DLC. Yeah, um, well, and you mentioned Cthulhu Saves Christmas. I'm pretty sure I've actually, like, know of that game. Did the developer make another game? Oh, isn't that the same developer that made uh, Krampus Quest? I don't think so. No, if it's the one I'm thinking of. I'm gonna have to look this up real quick. Cthulhu saves Christmas. Yeah, no, this is, uh, he made, I forget the name of the game. It's a really tiny RPG game that I played forever ago. And the dudes, uh, as far as I know, only made like two or three games. But, uh, Z-Boy Digital, that's the, the, the name of the developer. He did, uh, Cthulhu saves Christmas and... What was the other one that he did? Oh, it's gonna bug me not being able to remember. But I played it and I really liked it. It was one of the first games I did on on uh, PC, like played completely through on PC back in the day, because it was a relatively simple RPG game that like anything could run. Ah, uh, and Cthulhu Saves Christmas was like a spinoff because he did Cthulhu Saves the World. That was one of, and that's where he got. Cthulhu Saves Christmas from, he he retrofitted, like, Cthulhu Saves the World for that. Uh, Cthulhu... You know what, guys? We are gonna go to a quick ad break while we're just BSing with this here. Because <laughs> it's it's about time for one anyways, so... We're gonna we're gonna run that while John and I are BSing, and I'm looking this stuff up, and then we'll get back into the, the actual scheduled uh, episode tonight. <laughs> Alright, so, Cthulhu... Cthulhu. Saves the... uh, I'll just search for Cthulhu. It's got to come up, right? There can't be that many Cthulhu games. Um, Are we muted? No, no, we're not muted. Okay. Everything's still live. Like, we're still live and everything. Okay. Why? Do, do we need to be for some reason? No, I was just going to... It's not that important. I was just going to recommend a song to you. <laughs> I'm a little That's scared. Cool. It's not, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, SFW. Okay. <laughs> Cthulhu Realms, Cthulhu, Cthulhu Saves the World. There we go. Okay, it was under his old name, that's why I couldn't find the other games. Breath of Death 7, that's the name of the one that I played. They Ooh. always go on sale extremely cheap. And it was like a, it's an RPG game. It had a couple kind of neat mechanics, but nothing huge. Just, you know, some some simple little mechanics that they included in it. Um, but the name, of course, is a pun on like all of the other RPG games because there's so many of them where there's just like 20 of them out there. And uh, then there's like, uh, uh, just like with ridiculous names and whatnot. And the Breath of Death name itself, I'm pretty sure is a reference to something too, but I can't remember what exactly. 
But uh, yeah, there's a there's a double pack where you get both games for 89 cents at the moment. Like, <laughs> so not not Cthulhu Saves Christmas, but the original Cthulhu Saves the World and Breath of Death 7. You get both of those for for 89 cents. Like they're just incredibly cheap, uh, relatively short RPG games. I haven't played through Cthulhu Saves the World, but I did play through Breath of Death 7 and IMO. That one is worth playing through just because it only takes a few hours. So why not if you like turn-based RPGs? You don't know, honestly, says Nate. You minimized for a second Googled Christmas games. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, I can't believe... I, I completely forgot about that. I remember hearing that he was doing that spinoff. He did it in uh, like 2019 or something like that. But I completely forgot about it. Oh. But all right. Uh oh. How is the uh, profile picture coming along, Jonathan? Uh, good. Good. I have a uh, drawing pad now. Nice. Yeah, you told me that your your wonderful wife bought one for you. She did. Uh, it's huge. Huge. Like... Yeah, it's for. I I don't know if I'm gonna end up using it on this portrait. Right. Um, but it's um, it's a professional quality one, and it was. Bought secondhand, so right. uh, meant to be used for, like, Windows 7. Yeah, whatever, but, man. Uh, it says on there that there's drivers you can install. Uh, so yeah, make it run yeah. off just fine. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and like I said before, my only concern is that I'm not going to be able to make it work with Pixel Edit, but like you told me, you can download, like, a plug-in for GIMP. Yes, so you can yeah, yeah. Yep. And that will be so helpful for animations or little things in the future. But yep, it's yep. definitely going to be helpful for um, larger projects or anything right. that I have to do. Like, awesome. Because I'll probably want to down. Um, I'll probably want to sketch out like the larger scenes or like buildings or something like for uh, for the game we're working on. So um, I think that'll be really helpful to use like a big canvas on GIMP and then yes. just draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get a general idea of what you want to do and then go from there for sure. Yep. Last minute additions. All right. But, well, I'm glad to hear that it's going well and that you're liking your drawing tab so far. Um, I hope to see more of the portrait here soon. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get back to the scheduled content here, man. Okay. All well, right. It was chatting with you. Yeah. Oh. I will be talking to you tomorrow, to I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For sure. We have a big day ahead of us. No mind. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. That's um, very true. Okay? Very true. But. I hate these last minute all right. Well, talk happy Thanksgiving, everyone. One? Happy Thanksgiving. Talk to you later, Jonathan. Yep. Bye bye. bye, -bye. That's it. Quick little message from my co-host on the Just One More Level podcast, of course. Uh, I need to remute that. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So remove all witnesses. No mind to control. Um, you doing you no okay? mind to control. Want a but, soda? Um, you doing good? Kind of, kind of weird with all the overlapping voices there. That confused me a little bit. Can I go to the John in peace? Was saying awesome about the draw tab, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I figured that's what you were talking I don't about. Already have enough to do. Just do it, Death. No one asked you. Hmm. I don't remember her being on the list. Oh, well. I don't want any trouble at the Union. Yeah, I think that'll be great for for the Dorse Man there, for Jonathan. Like he said, I, in my personal experience, at least being able to draw out little things before you do pixel art or whatever, even if it's just a rough sketch of it, does come in handy for sure. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Come on, die already! <laughs> Well, that works. Can I go to the John? Well, splendid. This calls for a sexy party. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks to this pill, I shall have no trouble breathing inside the fat man's body. All right, let's get small. I'm glad they came up with an in-universe reason for why he's able to breathe inside someone's body. Lois? Lois? Oh, what the hell happened? All I remember is Mr. <laughs> Belvedere was there and 
And I remember something whacking me in the head. Belvedere! That's it. Mr. Belvedere has kidnapped my family and for some reason wants me dead. Well, I'll have to destroy you first, you evil, crafty nanny or, or, or butler or, 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 or whatever. Who is Mr. Belvedere? I do not know. <laughs> I feel like I'm probably missing another reference. <laughs> me out with one of his brainwashed henchmen disguised as a nurse well it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep me from getting back lois and brian and chris and stewie and and uh the other one uh, whatever her name I is say, I wanna say russ? yeah yeah that's it that's it russ you got it it says definitely agree that's why you still have good old graph paper for your D, &D maps and other things yeah yeah that's uh and even like whenever we're playing DD and whatnot, a lot of times I like to keep a an actual like pen and paper beside me for note taking and stuff like that too. I oftentimes feel like that just kinda gets the information in my brain better than than just uh like writing and typing it out on a PC or something like that. If an enemy flashes blues, it means it's taking no damage. Okay. I assume that'll come up in some way at some point. Stupid trash can. Look at him over there, being all smug. Oh, okay. So some some enemies you have to punch, where others you have to kick. And that's that's where that whole thing comes up. Gotcha. Makes you so easy to have something to reference when making it digital. Yes, for sure. Why are we collecting the cookies? Are they doing something for us? Ow! <laughs> Why is there a fridge in the in the tree? Oh, uh, I missed the I missed the hot dogs, man. There was probably food in there or food in there. Nice uppercut that man to hell. So we're trying to fill up Peter's stomach for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, suddenly it's a brawler. <laughs> we can just. Pick up trash cans and throw at people. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what's going on, but come for mass, stay for the guilt. It's a hell of a tagline. So, Mr. Belvedere has corrupted the police force, eh? Was this before Joe was in Family Guy? <laughs> Oh, no, Joe was in the first episode, wasn't he? I feel like he should have been the one to show up here, man. For the cop that we had to uh, we had to beat up. Yeah, I really can take it. Smite you. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm a little mad that we had to redo the section, but I'm really happy that that happened. That's perfect. You punch Jesus, he gets smited, man. <laughs> Or that was that was God. That was God, not Jesus. I apologize. My mistake, obviously. Stupid trash can. Eliminate all enemies. Nobody shall live while Peter Griffin is on a rampage. All must die. Old young does not matter. Just like at the nursing home? What kind of nursing home do they got this guy in? My lord. Poor old man. Also, what is this guy trying to get from the tree, right? I thought maybe he was like trying to pull down a cat or something like that. Oh, I guess maybe the child. I guess that makes sense. Where's the other hot dog? Wasn't there three last time? The game is punishing us for being smited. I still have no idea why we're doing this. Because <laughs> I don't know who that character was that he was talking about. The, the one with the random bat signal. Hey, stop it! <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Look, I'm here to help, okay? Just accept my punches of fury. Let me help you. Wait, he, he's dead. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. He's back. He's back up. 
Why is he back up? There we go. Holy Christ Church. Are we gonna beat up the mime now? Why is he blue? Damn these mimes and their invisible walls. Oh. <laughs> That's a reason for there being an invisible wall in the game. That's perfect. I love it. Oh my hip. Look, lady, you don't need your hip. Hey, do you guys know Joe? Kind of a triple guy. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. Hey, Thank you. you so much, Mr. Noodle. With your favorite one, of course. Whatever it's called, because I don't remember. Also, I'm doing the wrong attack, and I'm going to die. Ugh, okay. Okay. Gotta pay a tiny bit of attention, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Noodle Ugg? Why are you Ugging? Did I, did I do something wrong? Cheer wall, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. <laughs> kind of. Joe. Kind of a guy. Oh, there we go. Now he's talking about Joe. Hey, you. Hey. Oh, so, so are we beating people up just for their snacks? Like, does it have nothing to do with that who, Benedict Cumberbatch or whoever it was? Square circle square to headbutt. Nice. Uh, can I get the health pickups maybe? Nope. No, I can't. Okay. I feel like we kind of needed it, to be honest, because uh, we're not doing so great in the health department. Oh, no. I wish we would have picked up that health when we had the chance. Belvedere. Belvedar is a character in a show Peter watches. Oh, okay, okay. Are we... Are we, where are we going? Can we go in here? A headbutt move can destroy vehicles. Oh, wow. Peter's got a hard ass head, huh? Ooh, a whole ham? Press and hold R1, press square to do a spin attack. Okay. Is, is that what we need the, oh, nice. Yeah, that's what we need the, the food for, okay. Slightly drains our snack meter, but it destroys everything. Very nice. Man, there's so much uh, Family Guy lore that I've just obviously missed over the year. Years. Wait, is he not damaged by anything? No, okay, the kicks did. I was thinking maybe we had to do the spin attack to hurt him or something. Oh, we just picked that dude up. <laughs> we are just murdering these fools left no and right, man. Writing on the wall. Vaudeville's dead. And TV's the box they're gonna bury in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was easy enough. Hi, kids. Ah, you bastard. Ah, you bastard. Kick him wise down. Kick him wise down. There you go. That's how you do it, man. Just don't give him a chance. Bring it on. Grandma's clam. That's that's a thing in this game. We're gonna get our ass kicked by some children. Oh no! We need our we need our thing. We need our spinny move. All right, we gotta we gotta headbutt the the vehicle. I don't know why. But we do. Just keep headbutting it, Peter. P Peter? Square, circle, square. Circle, square, circle? Square, circle, square. There you go. <laughs> it's like, I'm not being an idiot, right? That is how you do it. All right, no, there's no way we can just walk past the clam and not even go in it. That's how you know this game's safe. Or safe? Fake. Oh, crap. Cap a cow, yo yo. Oh, we gotta we gotta mash that square button. Circle. Quick time events for the win. What is what is going on right now? This reminds me of that time I tried to open that can of tuna. If I can just win this cutaway, the game designers promised me extra hot dogs for my snack meter. 
Freaking extra, sweet. Extra hot dogs for your snack meter. Let's go. Sumo Peter opening the tuna can. Okay. Just gotta, just gotta mash the buttons. Oh, dude, too easy. Too easy. Come on. Back to the police station. What are we doing here now? Is it Brian again? Yeah. Another stealth section. Never my favorite, but... Maybe we'll have better luck than last time in this here. Man, I hate doing inventory. Some of this stuff really creeps me out. Yeah, I understand why, man. All right, here's another one. That baby just Good to see my blew fire. At work. I can't even is he gonna circle climb. all the way around? This is or... part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. Yes, he is. Okay, so I can just follow hey, him around, right? Barney Miller. Do you think I'm like the Wojo? Used to rent this all the time back in the day. Nice. This is actually my first time playing it. I wasn't even really aware what the game was about beyond, obviously, Family Guy. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. And honestly, it's better it, better than I had expected. Course. Wait, what? Vote. What? Uh, what is this? <laughs> I don't. I did not expect this cutaway. It's not happening. That was just out of nowhere. What triggered that? Are we invisible now? Very nice, okay. But yeah, no, I, it's uh, better than I expected. I was pretty happy with it once I actually started playing with it. So I played the hey, South Park, oh, we can still run into people. I guess that's important. I used to play, uh, or I played the, the South Park game on the PS1 though, which is a show that I'm a fan of and uh, not a good game, I gotta say. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, not great, sadly. Good to see my tax money hard at work. Okay, oh, he's gonna turn around. Oh, we can go, we can make it, we can make it. No, we can't, never mind. Probably have to be a fan of the show to enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, maybe, honestly, a lot of the game mechanics are pretty fun. I think you could probably enjoy it without being a fan, but you would definitely enjoy it more being a fan of the show. Thankfully, I am, although the older episodes that this would be based off of, I uh, do not really remember all that well because, yeah, it's been a long time. You played the N64 version, it was pretty terrible. Of South Park, you mean? Oh, yes. No, definitely. <laughs> very, very bad. This is why I don't vote. Yeah, I, I promise you the Whoa. PlayStation version and no oh, better. <laughs> nice one, Mr. No. Vote. It's not happening. Like parts of that game made me physically ill. Just I don't know if it was the frustration with the game that did it or if it was from the low FPS and terrible controls, what it was, but man, it hey, was, this was Barney it was bad. Like the Wojo? Hey, is that a lampshade? That could fool these stupid cops. Lampshade can be used as a disguise. Okay, how do we... How do we get it, though? Blow up doll? Where's oh. that bag of severed heads? Okay, the cop's gonna be distracted by that. Oh, son of a... Uh, this is why I don't like stealth sections. <laughs> One, I'm bad at them. Two, they just... I'm not patient enough for them at all. Help, I'm evidence and all right, here's another one. Okay. He's gonna turn around, right? He did every other time, yep. This is part we can make it, we don't have to wait for him. Play the minigame here. The cutaway. Vote! Oh, nice These cutaway one. games are a little too easy. No. That's one area of the game I think they could have done a little bit more with. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> now the new South Park games though, those are well worth playing. They're a lot of fun. At least the first one. I haven't actually played hey, Fractured Butthole yet. That could fool these stupid cops. Hey, if this was Barney Miller, do you think I'm like the Wojo? Oh, okay, we're actually in the shadows over here. I didn't realize there was a little shadow area we could stand in. That helps. Later, babe. I'm on duty right now. Okay, so what is the lampshade really going to do for us? The old lampshade disguise. Where's that bag of severed heads? Sweet, so we can just completely walk around them now without being seen, but... 
Oh, wait, no, only when we're standing still. Okay, but if they touch us, then we still Whoa, where did that get seen, obviously. Okay. That makes sense. Sure, why not? I wish the view was backed up a little bit more. I think wait. that would help a lot. Let you see a little bit more of the game. Also, we missed this file completely. We just walked right past Another it. Clue. But... Nice. Click. <laughs> hey, look at that dog. Ah, dude. All right. Well, at least now we know where they're all at. We got it this time. We got it. Gotta wait for this dude to get out of the way. Help! I'm evidence, and I'm. I'm sure oh, there's a reason why they put the lampshade right at the end, but I don't know what it is. With some of this stuff. Like maybe we can use this it in the next section the or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Jackpot. This is why I don't vote. Vote! All you gotta do is just go to one uh, side and then go to the other. And then go to the other. No. That's all you gotta do. Just back and vote. forth, man. It's not happening. <laughs> Stupid easy. Alright. So clue. now we should nice. be able to just run right around him. No problem. Super easy. We actually got all the files this time. That's ha helpful. There we are. Or do we need to, to escape the same way we came in, maybe? And that's what the lampshade's for? That would make sense if that's the case. Nope. Okay. For the next section, that's all. Nate says he decided to replay Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Very nice, man. I I need to, but but I want to play them in order though. And uh, playing through the first couple, I'm just I'm struggling with. I knew I should have taken that off rep. Click. Hey, who put that lamp here? Come on, go back to your work. Click. Go back to work, Mr. Officer, sir. Damn, I handcuffed myself to my desk again. I'm scared. I don't want to move. Click. Cop of the month, just Joe every month. Must What's your uh? Hand go under desks. Object disguise Click. only work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is your favorite Assassin's Creed game, Nate? If you don't mind me asking. Attention, all officers. Please remember to warm your hands There's before frisking perps. Four files that we need to find here. Can we interact with this guy at all, or will costume. he see us? This is a costume. It was my lunch break, and chicken sounded good. Hey, who put that lamp here? Oh, we can't go that way. We gotta go under the desk. Sure. Huh. Looks like someone needs to mm -hmm. clean out the- Hey, who put that lamp here? Press square to like... crawl. I don't really see the point in crawling. Look, Mosley, Does it do anything for us? I'm the bad cop. You're Does he wake up? Cop. You no, know, okay. Only wimps call for backup. Yeah, I mean, I played the first Assassin's Creed game, Wait. Nate, and then- the second and a bit of the third um but i've never actually finished the the third game in the series hey thank you for the follow kappa cow appreciate it you only played the first one right when it came out but you liked it i really liked it when it first came out i loved it when it first came out it was very unique i felt like Right? There weren't very many games that did what Assassin's Creed did at the time, at least. And I played the hell out of it. Click. But I went back recently, just in the past like year, and tried it out. And I realized just how kind of repetitive it what? is. And that's kind of what, what did it for me. And the, uh, you know what, maybe maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> I gotta figure out who the real father is. So, uh, present. Wait, I do smell something familiar. Where have I smelled that before? Excuse me, sir. Channel 5's Eye on the Street. Today we're asking, who's a good boy? Uh, I am. Who's a good boy? I am. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Tom Tucker. Maybe he's the father. I've got to get to Channel 5 and find some proof. Good luck with the puppies. Try not to eat them. I'm mad we accidentally skipped the cutscene that led to all of this because I have no idea what's going on right now. Nate, you Must would say out of the original style, 2 slash Brotherhood was your favorite out of the newer ones. It was 4 for a while, but Odyssey has definitely topped it for me. Yeah, I mean, I've heard very good things about Odyssey and uh, Valhalla. And that's really what's making me want to play them again. 
but I haven't yet played them. Because I want to play through all of them. I want to, I want to stay caught up with the storyline and whatnot. I, I guess it's probably not really necessary from what I've heard, right? Like, because the, the story in the newer ones don't have a whole lot really to do with the story in the original couple. So it's not that big of a deal to play them out of order, but I just, I hate doing that, though. Odyssey has a more RPG style, and you love the setting. Yeah, well, I mean, we all know I love RPG games, so that's perfect. Hey, look, it's a witch. Burn her. Oh. Ah, me, me, me. Okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I look like one of the kings of... All right, Brian. I know you're a good dog. Just come out, and I won't What is going on with Joe's lip? Be cool, man. Control yourself. Not everything is a toilet. Oh. Whoa. I gotta be more careful. Lost disguises come back when you enter a shadow, okay? If the bone meter fills up, Brian loses control. How do we... Oh, just any... So it just keeps filling up. Anytime we're close to something can be on, which seems like just the trees in this section. So I guess we just gotta get around them quick. Attention. Use of unnecessary violence in the Shadow, maybe? Brian has been approved. So if the cops see us while we're wearing this disguise, will they oh, still God, apprehend us? Out of here before I explode. Uh... Oh man, there's so many things that we can pee on. <laughs> I'm assuming that Joe will see right through our disguise. The other cops, maybe not. But Joe, uh, he's cop of the month, right? Cop of the month every month for the past however long. So we gotta, we gotta stay away from him. Is he gonna? Is he coming back around? Oh, we're peeing. We're peeing. Get, get off it. Man, I was hoping he would actually tase us. It's not necessary to play in order, but if you enjoy the lore, it's worth it. You have a couple in your backlog yourself. Haven't played Origins or the one before it. And Odyssey was after those. Yeah, I uh, I do enjoy the lore of the games. And that's that's the reason I want to play them in order. Because, you know, want to want to stay caught up with all the lore and everything. I don't want to have anything out of order for me. It'll, uh, I'll just end up getting confused if I do that. <laughs> God, get me out of here before I explode. But yeah, I mean, that's what everybody says, though, or, or has told me at least, that I can play them out of order and it'll be fine. Like, it's not necessary to play them in order, at least. Okay, so we need to watch Joe a little bit better here. So he goes all the way around, up to there, and then turns around. Okay, so maybe if we go now and go to the oh, left are. side. Gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. Nope. Damn it, we're gonna get caught again. Yep, yep, we're screwed. We're screwed. How do we get through that section? Just come out and I won't have to taser you. There's so many trees everywhere. Be cool, man. Control yourself. Not everything is a toilet. Okay, I don't think that cop's gonna see us now. We're good. Funnily enough, Odyssey is the earliest in timeline for the past life story, but more recent for present day story. Yeah, I wish they would have done a little bit more with the the present day stuff. P discreetly, geez, yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the present day stuff. Didn't they start underplaying the present day stuff in the newer games? I could be completely wrong on that, but that's what I've heard. Okay, I don't see any shadows for us to hide in. And I'm assuming we're trying to get to that back door there. So, do we just... If we run to the left, I feel like we're just going to end up having to pee too bad. Yeah, that pee meter is filling up quick. Okay. So, he comes to here and turns around. So, the time to go would be now. Then we just got to maybe just... Gotta run pee, for it. Pee, run pee. for it. Just go, 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 go. Hurry up and pee. Just let me out. Did I make it? Oh, thank you. Jesus. <laughs> I did not want to play through that section again. Stomach. I'm a 
must be careful to avoid touching the lake of acid. Sort to an extent. Like pretend the driveway is hot lava. Still there, for example, there's a big surprise in Odyssey in the present day storyline. That's cool. Yeah, I'll play him eventually. Grenades. As the fat man would say, freaking sweet or what have you. Grenade upgrade achieved. Can we activate that or no? Oh, if we hold the button long enough. So it goes from green to blue. If we let go at blue, then we do the three shot. If we keep holding, then it turns green and we shoot a grenade. Okay, cool, cool. What the deuce? It seems my arrival has dislodged a few things stuck up above. Very cool. A quarter, of course. I should not be surprised at all. Totally sounds like something Peter would be eating for one reason or another. Ooh. So I'm assuming some things can sink. Like the, uh, oh. 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 Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> like, uh, the stuff that make the weird sound whenever we jump on it. I'm assuming that stuff sinks. Whenever we, uh, whenever we land on it. So we can't stand on it for long. Hey, pine cones are edible, technically. I wouldn't suggest it, maybe, but... It says, you haven't got to play Valhalla a lot, so don't know much pres how much present-day stuff they included. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, sinking, sinking. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it seems to sink, actually. <laughs> uh, there's got to be something we can land on. What is that? A white blood cell? Can we shoot it? We can. Nice. Killing his immune system one cell at a time. Cross the lake without drowning. Didn't we already do that? Aren't we across the lake now? Also, Peter, I don't know what these things growing in your stomach are, but uh, you might want to get checked, bud. It doesn't look healthy. More parts up there. How did he get parts for our gun in his stomach? I mean, he is eating whole pine cones and coins, so I guess we shouldn't be that surprised. But come on, man. Have some self-control, Peter. You don't think Peter's too well known for being healthy? That's very true. <laughs> I can't argue with you there. Oh, is this going to be another sliding section like the... Like the, uh, the fat was. No, please. We're gonna die. <laughs> Maybe a grenade will do the trick. Nope, it blew up on the roof. Okay, well. This is, this is going poorly for us. <laughs> I am really bad at these sections. Okay, well, at least these ones we just bounce off of. Can we maybe get some health out of them or something? That would be helpful. No, I don't want to go that way yet. What I want to do is get some health. Please, health. Doesn't look like it's going to... Oh, well, we get random parts. So, like, are the parts just completely random which one they come out of? Or do you get them after destroying so many objects? Because otherwise, I mean, you would really have to know the game to not... Um, oh god. To not have to, uh, like, play it multiple times, right? To, to, to complete it. To collect everything, is what I was trying to say. Okay, do we just jump on this thing? Oh, no, nope. Seriously? <laughs> That's what killed us? Trash. We're gonna have to... Okay, now. Not clear from the beginning, but... Alright. Alright. Yep. Sorry. Look, we missed we missed a few parts, but it's fine. We're just we're just gonna accept it. it. Does seem like it might have been the same parts again that dropped more Well, parts. <laughs> so I guess maybe you do just have to play through the game a couple times or something. Perhaps there's some kind of control Would it be this? I thought maybe we could shoot this, because, I mean, that looks like something that would do something, right? Are we standing too close to it? 
Uh, R1 lets us rotate. There we go. It's potato chips that got stuck? Maybe. Even then, I don't know, man. That's not looking too healthy. Is that a hit? That's a hit, but it's not doing anything. Maybe we had to blow up the sphincter? Lung. So we need to make him cough? How do we do that? Oh, no. No, no, no. Turn around, please. Oh, we just, like, glitched through that. Okay. Oh, okay. So landing on it is what we need to do. Ah, no. Come on. Okay. We glitched through it. It's fine. Uh, we're loading, apparently. I know it says auto-saving, but we can't move, so we must be loading Leon! something. This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small stature. What? Enslave the human Over race. Here. Doesn't cost you a dime. I'm the fat chick. Nope. Go. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> that was, that was on me. I should have had that one. <laughs> Wait, when it's going down, is it harder to jump or no? I'm assuming whenever the air is going up, we we float better. And then whenever it's going down, we float worse. Peter, you can't feel me. Shut up. I'll have to grapple my way through the fat man's lungs. Also, coins like in the lung, Peter. Come on, man. How did you get bacon in here? See, even Stewie's confused, man. Like, really? Bacon, Peter? Chew your food. Don't inhale it. Literally. No oh, shit. Come on. I feel like a video game is going on in my chest. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright. Wait for the platform to come back and for the air to be going up. I think we need to do both at the same time, maybe. Alright, so now... Yeah, there we are. Oh, okay, well, we had the right idea, but we kind of missed. We'll just go up from this side. I think it might be easier to get on the platform from over here anyways. Yeah, there we are. Okay, what was it? Circle? Yep. How did we get the city planner to install a grappling hook point in here? A floating hook? Is that what he called it? Like, I can understand around the city, right? We bribed him, whatever, sure, sure, but in Peter's lung? Ah, oh, come on. I accidentally hit the button again. That was my bad. <laughs> there we are. Uh, no, not going for that platform. That seems like a bad idea. Nice. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we are. Perfect. Nice, easy jump. Ah, uh, no, 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 come on. I was hitting the X button again. I was trying to float. Can we shoot these? We can. Oh, and they blow up into parts. Very nice. I don't know what the next upgrade will be, but I'm curious. All right, come on. We can get through this level. Uh, nope. How long have we been going? Almost two hours. Running out of time. This will probably be our last level here. But I'm going to get through this level. I don't care how long it takes. <laughs> Why do those things look like cow udders? <laughs> what? Do you, oh, you mean the things I was blowing up at the bottom? The little, like, lung hairs or whatever? <laughs> oh, no. Why is that one platform so hard for me to jump on? No! Trash! Yes, <laughs> these things? These these are your cow udders? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they were meant to look like cow udders, Mr. Noodle, but, uh, hey. <laughs> I don't know what kind of udders you're looking at. <laughs> they definitely don't look like any udders I've seen. 
I mean, I guess like the the nipple part of it. <laughs> Peter just has a couple extra nipples in his lungs, obviously. No, come on. Okay, breathe out. Thank you. A piece of crap. This section of the game I'm struggling with way more than I should. Not the whole letter, you doofus. I know, I said you mean the nipple. I knew what you meant. You doofus. Alright, I give up. We're going back to this side over here. Ah, uh, stupid Peter, just stop breathing. <laughs> It'd make this a lot easier if you didn't have to do that. Alright, wait for him to breathe out. Just gotta wait for all the timing to line up. And then just hit the button. Have I played the Kids Next Door PS2 game? Not yet. Nope. That one's not in my collection yet, but I will definitely be picking it up eventually. I'm trying to uh, collect and stream all of the North American PS2 games, so yeah. For sure, sooner or later. Is it good? Was that another one that you played, I'm guessing, when you were younger? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Why am I... I was scared. You just beat it for GameCube a week or so ago. Oh, very nice, man. Inhaled a coin. He inhaled multiple coins, if you haven't noticed. Oh, nice. That platform now works as an elevator. Should I fall back to the floor? Oh, really? The platform that we missed was an elevator that takes us right back up here. That's trash. <laughs> that makes me so angry. Multiple coins, you see, yeah. It's pretty good, although the levels were a bit too long, in your opinion. Yeah, I've, I've seen that before. Something just kind of outstays its welcome. It's rough. Oh. I thought we were... I thought we were over that platform. I guess not. Come on, Hook. The GameCube is another one of those consoles that I'm really nostalgic for. That I would love to collect for sooner or later. I don't actually own a GameCube at this point though, which is kind of sad, but I do have a Wii that's GameCube compatible, one of the older ones, so. So that's how I end up playing all my GameCube games. Of which I don't have a lot, to be honest. I had a fair few growing up. But, uh, unfortunate house fire when I was younger lost most of that collection. That's alright. Getting back into collecting now. What are the red ones? Oh, are all the red ones ones that give us, uh... Power-ups for our thingy? To the brain, you say, huh? Oh, uh, we probably should have just slid over to here. That would have been faster. Trash. Trash. Yeah, right now I'm mostly doing, like, variety sort of stuff on the, the channel for the PS2 gauntlet for the collecting thing. Um, and then I'm just finishing specific games. Like, right now I'm doing uh, Lord of the Rings. The Third Age is the one that I'm collecting. It's been a lot of fun. I didn't expect it to be a turn-based RPG game, but I'm not complaining either, because I love turn-based RPGs. Ah, no, Lois. Lois, it's me. All right, uh, so the, those are neurons firing off. Don't want to get caught in that, I'm sure. I know what you've been doing, can we jump I'm over this? Yeah, we can. Oh, we leave little footprints up there. How nice. <laughs> oh, what? No! No, Lois, no! <laughs> Trash. I didn't know she was gonna pick us up and just smother us to death. Yes, run into the neurons. Uh, quickly now. Too easy, Lois. Too easy, woman. Wait, what is this one? What's... 
What's the yellow one? What is she throwing at us? Oh, the Loises. Haha, -ha, can't. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Left and right. Okay. I didn't see that the first time around. It's, uh, can she jump? I don't think she can, hopefully. Okay, obviously we can't hit her from up here either. Grenade? Aha! What is she trying to throw it at? Her AI is not too good, is it? <laughs> Are they fighting each other now? <laughs> Kill all the Loises that leave the room, okay. Ah, uh, nope. That's what I get for letting go of the button. <laughs> they are. They're actually fighting each other. That's great. Can we hit her from over here? Kind of. Although she can also, of course, crawl up the pipe. Or, I guess they're not pipes, huh? Hit her! Why aren't you hitting her? Grenade time. Aha! Take that, woman. There we go. Okay. Are these... No, we can go through here. There we are. You the last, Lois? Is that it? I guess not. Go back this way. Hello, Lois? Wait. Is there another one somewhere? No, we killed him, all right. Am I missing something? Oh. We can go up here? Somehow. Ah, oh, there's a hook. Okay, just couldn't see the hook up there. Fair enough. What's behind the bit? Ooh, what is this? That man's brain cell seems to be thinking about food. If I move these thoughts to the erogenous zone, perhaps the blood flow will shift to the testicles. What oh no. To use first? Uh, you. You're never gonna get me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you. Very nice. All right, so that that was that was easy. Oh no, you're gonna be you're gonna be hard. Okay, can we uh can we stop with you? What about you? We got this. We got this. Just run for it. There we go. Two tier leaders and one brain cell. This sounds about right, honestly, for Peter Griffin. All right, so let him go that way. Why is Cleveland so slow? Run, Cleveland, run! Cleveland, go! Okay, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Glad to see Peter thinks about his friends that way. <laughs> What the heck? Stop yelling at Cleveland. Do you see his outfit though? It's very pretty. It's a very nice outfit. All right. Now that we finish up the Stewie section, I think that's going to be it for tonight. But I definitely agree, Mr. Noodle. He is beautiful. What games do I have in line to play? I uh, I don't have like an order picked out specifically, Kappa Cow, for which ones I'm going to play next. Um, but I do have a list of games that I've collected uh, available um, at that link there. If you don't want to check that out, though, I can bring it up here on my end. That's a mostly up-to-date list of the games that I own that I will be playing. So far, I only have 4.18% of the PS2 North American collection, but I'm adding more all the time. A little bit slower right now because of the holidays and whatnot. I don't have as much free cash laying around to collect them. Um, but yeah, Mr. Noodle really wants me to do Piglet's Big Game. Uh, the God of War games were personal favorites of mine, so I'd love to be playing them again sooner or later. Kingdom Hearts are, are more of my personal favorites. 
I've been itching to play a little bit of Mortal Kombat, but I'm not very good at those, <laughs> admittedly. Uh, more of the Ratchet games. I played one of the Ratchet games, the first one, Ratchet and Clank, a couple days ago. That was a lot of fun. And uh, see, so yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot on the list that I already own that I that I really want to play, and then just tons more in the collection, obviously, that I want to do. Uh, Attack and the Power of Juju is another one that I that I own that I want to play more of. But yeah, yes, sir. All right, but as for tonight, I think that is going to be it. Sadly, I will be back. Uh, not what is today <laughs> i forgot what today is so it's thursday friday so saturday i'll be uh i'll be back to do a little bit more of this and then i'm skipping my usual stream on sunday for the ps2 gauntlet i'm still gonna try to do the lord of the rings stream that day but because of family holiday stuff and whatnot i won't be doing ps2 gauntlet but then hopefully after that we'll be pretty much back to the regular schedule and uh yeah yeah night man cool meeting you too kappa cow thank you for joining the stream and for the follow definitely appreciate it and for everybody else in chat, thank you all for joining as well. I hope to see you in a couple days whenever I come back with more PS2 games. And uh, good night, everybody. Bye-bye. There's some beasties over there. Okay. Feels like we can fall, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that. Night, Mr. Noodle. Night, Nate. I'm actually gonna try to walk back outside. Um, now that I know that I can attack. We uh, don't have to be so scared of the turtles, hopefully. But if I was making an RPG like this, I would probably hide some junk outside on the shore after just making people go inside. So, are the turtles friendly? Ah, nope, they're not friendly. <laughs> At least not once you attack them. <laughs> Got that big pop-up in red like that. It actually kind of scared me, man. Was not expecting it. Okay. We also can't swim. We never learn how to swim. Type if you can. Video keeps buffering. Last few minutes on lunch. How is it? Uh, so far, so good. Just getting started, really. Wish it had analog controls. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get loaded back into the game. So uh, we can't swim. That's very important to know because I also did see like a river.